Hello and welcome to uh, the IDEA challenge of August. Um, I'm here with Chris Cordes and myself, Johanna Voll from the German Co-working Federation. And we are here to present um, this month's challenge, uh, which will be about the co-working values and how we actually uh, live them in our co-working spaces. So in case you have not yet experienced the IDEA project, um, it's a project from the co-working community for the co-working community. And it's all about making co-working more inclusive, diverse, equitable, and accessible. So we have monthly challenges um, that challenge you and your co-working community to take a look um, at your space, um, at the practices within your space, um, over the month, we always issue the challenge in the beginning of the month, and then we meet again at the end of the month, every uh, last Wednesday of the month um, at 6 p.m. CET time zone um, for a Zoom call where we share our experiences. Um, your exact time zone um, can be seen on our website, which is um, coworkingidea.org. Um, so please um, check out there. Uh, register for our Zoom call at the end of the month where we will see each other again. Um, and now I think, um, yeah, without further ado, uh, we can join our conversation um, with Chris. Maybe a quick disclaimer before uh, we are both <laughs> not non native uh, English speakers, as you, as you might have noticed already. Um, so, um, yeah, we are Germans um, and we try our best uh, with, yeah, the inclusiveness of um, communicating um, yeah, the points we want to make in English. Um, and yeah, maybe Chris, you can tell us a little bit um, about the German Co-working Federation and what it stands for. Yeah, the German Co-working Federation is a network of co-working space users, co-working space providers, managers. And we are founded in 2015 with the idea to collect a network um, about these people who have something with this co-working uh, scene to do. We have some um, people from universities there also and um, some yeah, companies who are friendly with the with the co-working scene, and we are a uh, yeah a, a network of of people who are doing stuff. Um, one of our um, famous thing is the co-work. It's the German co-working conference we do every year since 2014 in Germany. It's the biggest uh, German-speaking conference um, in in Europe, and we also have three other. Um, things we do um, we are uh, for the most people in the known this is the one is that we're making space founder workshops for people who want to opening a co-working space so we give them the basics to know about law marketing community building um, administration things about running a co-working space that's um, one of the things, the second is uh, the, the co-working conference I told you, and uh, we have also network events uh, in Germany and the north, south, east and west of this, of this country where we are collecting co-workers and co-working space owners and managers together to, to talk a weekend long about co-working, making some digital stuff and formats uh, in the COVID-19 situation, and yeah, we are... I guess very agile about uh, co-working and you know, we are all infected with the co-working virus. I'll be, be careful with the uh, virus metaphor these days. <laughs> yes. um, anyway, yeah, um, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about the co-working movement because um, you've been part of that for quite a long time. Um, yes, sure I can. Um, there are many things about co-working running in the last years. We know all about the, the different conferences, um, the co-working Europe conference. We have something about um, the co-working manifesto, the co-working wiki, uh, open co-working. There are many, many um, yeah, movements and, 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 and platforms and, and things to collaborate with each other in the, in the last years. And um, what my personal point of view of all this is, that's a little bit like the, the, the basics where all these co-working values are 
discussed a um, little bit like a like a diamond uh, when we uh, use our little towel and uh, polishing it uh, a little bit more shiny and uh, that's what co-working is it's not only in your country and on your own space it's for me um, going in discussion and in conversation with with all the other co-working space uh, people in Europe uh, in in different formats conference and uh, conference or in, in in Zoom calls like that. Yeah, I think to me it is very special that this is really an international movement and that the co-working scene is growing vividly. Um, yeah, at the same time in different places. And even though you know it is mentioned that there was this one place in San Francisco where it all emerged from, um, that's not really true anymore because it's really growing in parallel um, everywhere. Nevertheless, we are also seeing a lot of um, spaces popping up that are just calling themselves co-working space, um, but that we probably, and I know this from discussions we had earlier, would not really consider it to be a co-working space, but rather um, a shared office, a business center, a serviced office, something like that. So what's, what's your take on the buzzword factor of co-working these days? One of our... One of... One of our or my favorite sentence is that uh, we are not measure spaces just in square meters. So community is our currency. Um, so that we have another mindset when we're talking about the co-working uh, space or running a co-working space. So we are community based and we are community focused and we are co we are taking a look on on a co-working space and the people who work in a co-working space more than on a perspective like what can I do for my community? What can I do for my coworker to get him a, a better situation for his work? Um, that's the 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 point what's driven me when uh, I went every day in my co-working space um, a little bit like uh, I, I when somebody asked me what what are you doing there I tell I say mm, it's a little bit like um, a social worker and a little bit like a um, idea get generator and a little bit like um, yeah be a part of a family um, where I'm more a facilitator than a people who want to grab anything. The only thing I grab is money because um, they have to pay for their for the seats um, and uh, I have to pay the the rent and all the other stuff. But it's more than like um, no, you are as a coworker a part of me and my co-working space and my 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 little co-working family in a space. And what 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 co-working just is in some cases, it's more than, oh, it's a buzzword where I can label it because it works. Um, many companies have lots of empty square meters in their office buildings and they have to do something. They have learned in COVID situations, people can work from home, home office, work from remote, um, work in cafes and other situations. So the, the big office buildings and the, the, the grow of big office building, it's, um, it's over. So what should they do? And one of the answer is, oh, uh, let's label it with co-working. And some people went in and worked there. But all the stuff, what, what the independent co-working space owners said, um, how will you manage your community? How will you get involved with the problems and the questions co-worker have? Um, they don't care about it. And that's what uh, is not, in my perspective, a, a co-working space. Um, there are some people who want um, have a such such a working place like a shared office or managed office space. It's okay, but it's not that what, what my 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 wording or what what my perspective is what co-working is the the, the key facts about yeah. it yeah exactly um when co-working is probably yeah often used more in a, in a marketing sense um and not so much in our um co way that we interpret co-working culture um and you've already mentioned one of the five co-working values um to yeah, look a little bit deeper on those. Um, there are uh, yeah five, as I said. So it's accessibility, collaboration, community, openness, and sustainability. In the blog post that is um, yeah going up alongside this video, we will explain each of them a little bit more. And now the big question is, um, how did these come into existence, and do they maybe need an update? 
It's a good question. What, what I said, there are some values they have to be for the, uh, and they are like like a law for me um one of the facts for example is accessibility a co-working space must be open for everyone um we you if you want it only for an hour or for a day or for a week or for a month it, uh, it's not a question if you are um, um, a man or a woman or which uh, sexual ident identity you have it, it doesn't care. It must be open for everyone who wants to co-work and um, you, you have to get access. That's one of the, the topics. Um, the second um, community, it will be very important to have a community because a community is much more um, only for care about each other who are working in a co-working space community is one 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 another piece for me is to help you as a co-working space provider um to getting a feedback um area um if you are doing the right things and is, if 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 you are moving uh, in the right way when you are um running a co-working space and community is for me like the biggest um impact every day to talk with the people who work there, uh, work here at the co-working space about, um, yeah, some, some stuff what doesn't have in the first line with co-working because we are talking about politics or we're talking about uh, other stuff. And yeah, it's like this family feeling I need every day. And so community is also important. Um, what I think right now in this, um, climate situation we just have some uh, big struggle in germany uh, about it i think you heard, heard in the news is, is is the topic of sustainability i think that was uh, um, a topic we have to uh, take a closer view in the future on it how sustainability could a co-working space be and where are the the the, the the, the points we can it a little bit making it clearer and better i guess that's one of the value we um we have to yeah right now take, taking um, more focus on it yeah definitely um and i think with relation to the um the values that the idea project stands for um when there are uh, thing, discussions about adding inclusion or um, probably the better word is inclusivity um, yeah. to those values as well, um, that has been brought up. And of course, um, I mean, I also want to mention these uh, five values are not set in stone. Um, and it's always the, the big question is actually how you really live those questions. And if they are just um, a nice list of words on your website or somewhere in your space um, or if you actually do something with them if you interact with them if you maybe do workshops also with your um, co-workers on them um, and that's what we also want to encourage you to do um, in the next uh, few days or even you know just uh, with yourself think about it um, how do you really live those values within your space? Um, and then with the notion of IDEA, IDEA values, um, are they already present uh, in, in the values we are living? Um, I mean, we're probably looking especially at accessibility and openness. Um, and with the prior challenges, you have great checklists and uh, great help. They're still available online to um, really look at your space if it's accessible enough for everybody um, or just for certain groups. Um, so you can always go back to other challenges as well um, and yeah, take those. Um, and yeah, well, do you want to add something to that? You did everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that the main point we really want to make here is um, that we probably don't need to uh, to add or reduce values, but we need to um, really think about how we live the ones um, that are already there and how we connect those um, with intention um, to the, yeah, to making your space more inclusive, more diverse, more equitable and accessible. Um, and that is something we would really like to invite you to um, take a look at, um, engage in conversations, um, maybe with fellow co-working space operators, maybe with your team um, that is running the space or with your co-working um, 
community. Also something uh, that you could do or that we would encourage you to do is take a look at your website. Um, maybe there is this about us page um, and you know, at, at some point when you set it up, you just copied those values um, from the co-working wiki or the manifesto. Um, and maybe you can just recheck if those are still aligned with the way you run your space. Um, and if not, maybe you wanna, wanna either change your website or you wanna change um, how you deal with things. Um, there's always the option to um, contact us uh, through the website and our social media channels. Uh, there's a Facebook group where we can discuss this further uh, during the days leading up to our final discussion, um, which is um, again at the end of August. So it will be um, on August 25th um, in a Zoom call. And we are very much looking forward to seeing you there and talking about the experience that you have had uh, during the past weeks um, with this challenge.